um, uh, drum MIDI controller, and it's the uh, Akai MPD218. And uh, I got this to make like um, to use like to have special effects when I'm playing live, and um, cause I want to be able to play like um, I play like, the synthesizer and then use this for like cool um effects. But then I realized like um, instead of just using it for effects, like why not make my own music using it as well? And so um, that's where I got the like, idea for this video. And I tried kind of making my own thing, and to be honest, it's a little hard at first. But then I, I um, but then I kind of like started messing around, and I kind of knew what to do. So um, no, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll show you guys right now, and I'll kind of walk you through on what I was doing, and um, I'll show you the finishing part as well. So it's a really basic setup. I basically just um, I grabbed my mom's laptop, and uh, the thing's just USB, the controller. So um, you'll see, I just plugged it in and it, it was on. And I'm using a GarageBand for this. And um, in the GarageBand, I, I was using the, the electric drum kit as well as the, some of the synthesizers um, to use. And you'll see me use them right now. Um, so for this one, I'm just using something called a tight synth bass. And it's, that's the, this is gonna be the main melody. So no, yeah, that was like the just the main melody, and you'll see right now I'm gonna add more onto it. Uh, this is the deep sub bass. It's kind of just to um fill everything up more. This is more um when everything comes up, and uh, yeah, just to bring it more life and everything. Uh. And that was uh, the massive saws. This is basically just to give it a little more, a little extra. So for this, I'm using one, two, three, four, five, six different things. And this is the synth burst patterns. I'm using the feature um, on the MIDI controller, which is note repeat. That's what's making it uh, last longer. And uh, right now I'm just recording the drums for it, trying to give it a beat to it. Right here, I'm basically just making sure that, uh, I'm just getting over everything, making sure that everything's perfectly fine and works. I'll show you the finishing product right now. So um, yeah, that was everything. I know it wasn't that long, it was actually pretty short, but um, I really like it and well, yeah. So basically this is how I'm gonna have it set up. I'm gonna probably have a laptop here or here. Um, I'm gonna have the MIDI controller right here and I'm be uh, using it along with the keys. So when I, while I'm playing uh, the synth, uh, I'm gonna be able to use some cool special effects too. Um, right now I kind of have uh, this on um, some music stand so it's gonna be a little awkward as I've been playing here than moving here. But in the future, I wanna have like an actual like, like little stand. And I'll probably have this like right next to it right here. And um, yeah, and uh, right now it's gonna be, it's kind of awkward just cause they're both uh, USB. But in the future, I wanna buy um, an analog synth and just hook this up to that. And I'll be able to hook this up to like the laptop or something. So I can um, use them like separate and put them together.